Hey everybody, Doug Washington here from Basin Tackle Online. Today we're going to talk about something a little bit different. This is something that occurs in some species of fish all the way from northern Mexico uh, up to Alaska. And that is a blue pigmentation in lingcod. It's not just lingcod. Cabazon and greenling also have it, but we seem to find it more prevalent in lingcod. In fact, up to 20% of lingcod have this coloration. We caught this one yesterday, the love of my life and I. Do you see that turquoisey, fully looking color? And this one isn't even really a very, very dark one. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? That is not a standard color fish. But the big question is, what causes it? As we mentioned, about 20% of them will have this coloration. But 80% of this coloration is found in females only, not males. So it's predominantly the females that have that bluish color. And again, we've got cabazon, we've got greenling. We don't know if it's sex specific in those ones as well. And what causes it? There's been a lot of talk about this over the years. Not a lot of folks have been able to figure it out, but right now the, the best theory going, probably the, uh, the most accurate thing is a chemical uh, called biliverdin, which totally sounds like a hillbilly name. Like biliverdin just called himself a nice blue lingcod. Th thanks, biliverdin. Now, we also have that chemical in our bodies. When you get bruised and you kind of turn that, that bluish green, it is biliverdin. It is that chemical that causes that coloration. And eventually it kind of changes, you know, your, your bruises go yellow. That goes to bilirubin, related to, to biliverdin. Bilirubin took my Coors Light and I don't like it. I'm gonna get so much hate mail from that. Um, but while we know what causes the color itself, we don't know how it gets in the fish. It's not known if it's diet, and there's been a lot of comprehensive studies done over the years, but it's difficult to study a, an animal like this in the wild. And they're difficult to keep in a big tank in captivity and have all the different, uh, all the different inputs that, that you can have, the diet, the stress, the everything that may or may not cause this. It's not even known if they have this coloration through the entirety of their life. They might be born this way, we don't know. They may phase into blue and then phase back out, we don't know. It's thought that perhaps it might be stress related because a lot of the fish that have this bluish color meat have a lot less fatty acids in the actual meat itself. So that may lend itself to the theory that perhaps they're nutritionally starved or they have some kind of nutritional stress and that's a possibility. But again, we don't know. They think these fish come from more of a shallow water. So then is this for protection from UV? Like this guy was caught in about, I think he was caught in about 20, 25 foot of water, which is shallowish water. We don't know. We don't know. We know the chemical that causes it, at least we're pretty sure we know the chemical that causes it, but we don't know how it gets in, what the vector is, if it's diet, if it's stress. Again, if they're born looking like this, or if they phase in and out of this color phase throughout their life, we don't know. But how cool is that? Blue lingcod, Smurf meat. I took one one time, I took a big chunk of meat and I cut it in the shape of a Smurf and fried it up for my kids, they didn't care for it. Oh, also, when you cook it, the coloration cooks out of it. Now, that color does not affect the flavor at all. Not one little bit. So there you go. Bill of Verdon, hillbilly from somewhere, causing your lingcod to be blue. Take care, folks. God bless each and every one of you. God bless America.